What's up guys, it's F from Zachsaurus and welcome to Setup Wars episode 129. I'm also trying something a little different with the lighting as you guys can see. It's kind of dim in the back and there's more light in the foreground so I'm trying to change things up. If you guys have any feedback or if you guys like the new lighting setup, let me know your feedback in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it. But with that said, let's Setup Wars begin. Also guys, before I begin the episode, I am accepting more submissions. So if you want to submit your setup for Setup Wars, I've said setup so many times, make sure to watch the first, make sure to watch the video. Uh. Also guys, I have room for a lot more setups. So if you want to submit and be on the show, make sure to watch the video link below. It's the very first link in the description section. Uh, submissions are very open, so please submit your setup. Starting off the show, we got Arken, who is a coder, and the purpose of this setup is for gaming and development. He's rocking a two monitor setup featuring one ultrawide from LG and a 27 inch from AOC. A very unusual layout considering that the ultrawide isn't the main monitor, but I'm assuming that he's using the AOC display for gaming since it does have a higher refresh rate and the ultrawide is used for productivity. Now if this was my setup, I would remove the monitor stand from the AOC and mount both monitors on a desk mount with the ultrawide on top. So with the monitor mount, you can actually lower both of the displays closer to the desk and that way the ultra wide isn't too high up there and both monitors actually kind of level with your eyes. That's actually a much better solution than putting the ultra wide way over there on the left side. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Logitech Z120 mini stereo speakers and the Turtle Beach PX22s that are hanging neatly beside his monitor. I like the way that he managed the wires for both of the keyboard and mouse. This is actually the method I always recommend to everyone that doesn't want to drill holes in their desk. It's just so much cleaner than just running both wires straight across the desk. The cables behind the desk are also under control thanks to the Signum rack and that massive backboard that's blocking everything. However, I do recommend using a few velcro straps for the PC wires so that they are grouped closer together, just like what you did with your keyboard, mouse and monitor wires. Speaking of the PC, it's rocking an overclocked 6700K, 16 gigs of Dominator Platinums and the Asus Strix 1080. I'm guessing he was going for a white and blue color scheme judging by the gear and the RGB lights, but the wooden desk and the cat completely throw it off. It's really hard going with a certain color scheme while you have a wooden desk, but either way, it's a kick-ass setup. Not much else I can really recommend. Thank you for entering. Coming all the way from France, we got Charles and his setup that's used for graphic design, motion design, and of course gaming. When I first looked at the pictures, I assumed that Charles is an Apple man and that he was rocking a MacBook for his setup, but turns out that he's actually part of the PC Master Race with that custom built rig underneath his desk. It's packing the 4690K and an MSI GTX 1080 Ti, very nice specs. The desk is from Ikea and it's the popular Linman tabletop and on it we got a nice contrasty white and black theme going on. He's using a 27 inch Philips monitor that is being flanked by two white speakers from Logitech and it appears that he went with wireless peripherals which is interesting since he said that this setup is used for gaming also. The cable management is done very well with the help of the Signum rack and a few cable ties. I don't have any complaints here. I also love the fact that he kept the setup asymmetrical with the Stormtrooper helmet on one side and the IKEA plant on the other. Another thing I really like is the convenient access to the USB hub, the charging cable and the SD card reader that he attached on the left side of his desk. Overall, it's a very nice, minimalistic and clean setup that gets the job done. Thank you Charles Xavier for entering. From the United Kingdom comes Carlos and his setup built just for gaming. The Samsung Ultrawide is hooked up to an arm and below that are a pair of speakers from Logitech and right off the bat I'm gonna recommend something that I saw from the last episode of Setup Wars. If you want to get those speakers off your desk so that they are not being blocked off by your monitor, I recommend picking up two of these tablet holders and hooking them up to the sides of your monitor just like how Kaser did in the previous episode. Also on the desk he's got the Razer Death Stalker keyboard and the Death Adder mouse with the Tartarus on the left side. It is a glass tabletop so drilling a hole in it would be out of the question, however I would recommend running both of those wires directly underneath the keyboard and then you can use a velcro strap to tie all three cables together for a much cleaner look instead of just having those three wires going across your desk. The wire management underneath the desk however is a lot better, the cables have a certain path and everything is attached underneath the desk. It looks very clean. 
Also down here are the two pair of headsets that he's using. We got the Kraken Pros and the Kraken V2s, both of them from Razer. You know, it's interesting that he has all Razer gear. However, he doesn't have a Razer themed setup. This is actually the first time I've seen all Razer gear and not a Razer themed setup. In fact, I don't even think he has a color scheme in mind. You know, I'm a huge fan of showing off posters and paintings on the wall, but at one point it becomes a bit too much. If you start overlapping your posters on top of each other, I personally think it just makes it look messy. The PC powering the setup looks pretty dope with the alien figurines inside. Adding stuff like this in your PC is actually a great way to fill up the empty space and kind of give it some spice. A very dope gaming setup nonetheless, thank you Carlos for entering. Matthias is up next all the way from Denmark and holy cow, for a 15 year old, you did a pretty damn good job. It also says in the notes that he's the CEO at codefweb.dk and this setup is made for gaming and work. A 15 year old who is managing his own website and has a killer setup like this, wow. I mean, when I was 15, this was my setup, no joke. It was something like this, at a crappy CRT TV and a Nintendo 64 underneath it with like one game. I had no laptop, I had no PC, I didn't even have a phone at the time. So yeah, it was some, uh, some tough times. It's crazy to think that some teenagers out there have crazy multi-monitor setups and high-end gaming PCs. I mean, more power to you, Matthias. I'm actually very impressed with what you were able to achieve at such a young age. If, however, you actually purchase these with your own money. Now, if your parents bought these for you, then that's a different story. Anyways, okay, so the setup features an ultrawide in the middle that's in between two 24-inch monitors, which are all from Asus. And on the desk, he's got the Element Mechanical Eagle keyboard with the Logitech G602 mouse. And that's pretty much all that he has on there, aside from his custom-built PC. It's equipped with the 6600K and the Radeon R9390. Not bad. The setup itself is very straightforward. It's clean with great cable management. And behind the setup is actually his console gaming setup featuring a Philips Smart TV. We got some speakers and of course the PS3. He even has a MacBook Air for when he needs to go mobile. I gotta say that's one hell of a room setup you got there for just being 15 years old. Either way, thank you Matthias for entering. Wrapping up the episode, we got Stefan from Germany and his homemade setup that's built for gaming and entertainment. It's featuring the 27-inch Acer Predator, we also got the Lioncast LK30 mechanical keyboard and the Logitech G900 mouse. A very simple setup powered by his custom-built PC that's equipped with the 3770K and the MSI GTX 1080. The cable management is on point thanks to a few cable boxes, some cable clips and even the Signum rack that he hooked up on the side of his desk. That's actually a smart decision putting the rack on the side considering that there is no wall behind his desk to hide the Signum rack. Actually, I just noticed that he has a couch in front of his desk in this other shot, so never mind what I just said. I actually like the way his desk is positioned. It's directly in front of his TV on the other side, so when he wants to watch something from his setup, he can easily do that instead of moving over to the couch. Which, by the way, is where he games on his Xbox One. He's got that hooked up to the 66-inch curved 4K TV from Samsung. Nicely done. A very simple and straightforward setup. Thank you, Stefan, for entering. And that wraps up this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. I'll announce the winners on my social media platforms. If you guys enjoy the show, feel free to toss a like to show your support. And if you didn't, please leave a dislike. Honestly, I would take a dislike over not leaving anything at all. So yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in the next video.